A very good morning to everyone. I'll be speaking about augmentation of unstable IT fracture fixation with trochanteric wiring. To begin with, IT fractures are extracapsular fractures of the proximal femur between the greater and lesser trochanters, which account for approximately 50% of the fractures of proximal femur. They are attributed to low energy falls in elderly patients and high energy trauma in young patients. Among them, the unstable IT fractures are those with posterior medial comminution, avulsed greater or lesser trochanters, and lateral wall breach, the reverse oblique fractures, and IT fractures with subtrochanteric extensions. Treatment options are the sliding hip screw with plate, intramedullary nail, and hemiarthroplasty, the calcar replacement. Despite the availability of a variety of implants, fixation of unstable IT fractures is often challenging. We aim to study the outcomes of augmentation of primary fixation for these fractures by either DHS or PFN using trochanteric wiring in terms of reducing the complications and failure rates. We conducted a retrospective study of 50 patients with a mean age of 64 years with 56% male predominance and a mean follow-up of 14 months. We included patients who were older than 18 years with type 3, 1, A2 and A3 fractures as per the AO classification, uh, which were 22 and 28 respectively. We excluded compound fractures, patients with polytrauma and those with pathological fractures. The procedure consisted of position, approach, reduction, primary fixation and augmentation. Uh, the position was lateral for the proximal femur nail and supine on a fracture table for the DHS. The approach was minimally open lateral for PFN and direct lateral approach distal to the GT for DHS. Reduction in most cases was carried out close by traction and rotation and maintained with reduction clamps and K-wires. The primary fixation nail was done, primary fixation was either using a PFN or a DHS with derotation and the fracture fragments were then assessed for posterior medial and posterior lateral comminution. Bone hook was used to reduce the fractures and hold the fragments and which were augmented then using a bone wire. The SS wire was passed in a figure of mate manner beneath the abductors, around the shaft beneath the lesser trochanter or below one of the proximal screws of the PFN or the shaft screws of the DHS. The wire loops were crossed along the posterior lateral surface of the GT, tightened using a tensioner and the screws were then tightened. The post-operative protocol was similar to all the hip fractures and weight bearing was allowed as per the x-rays which suggested the union and the stability of the fracture fixation. The outcomes assessed were clinical outcomes, radiological outcomes, the complications and the functional outcomes using the Harris hip score. Our results were 29 patients were with road traffic accident, 21 were with a trivial fall and the modality of fixation was 32 patients were done using the proximal femoral nail and 18 were done with the DHS. The union was checked clinically by absence of pain and radiologically by the presence of trabeculae bridging the fracture site in the AP and lateral views and the mean time of union was 20 weeks. The Harris HIP score showed excellent results in 15 patients, good in 18, fair in 12 and fair, poor in 5 patients. We endured two complications, a screw back out in one patient which needed revision later and a superficial infection was seen in two patients which were managed using antibiotics. Uh, a few examples, the case one with a reverse oblique IT fracture was fixed using a PFN, K wires and a circlage wire. The 1.5 year follow up shows good union. Second case of a comminuted IT fracture with a lateral wall breach fixed using the proximal femoral nail with the augmentation using trochanteric wiring. A one year follow up shows good results. And the third case was IT fracture with a lateral wall and GT fracture was fixed using a DHS derotation screw and an encyclage wire. The eight months follow up shows good signs of union. The unstable IT fractures are often quite difficult to manage and the posterior medial and lateral wall contribute greatly to their stability. Fixation with con conventional implants may be insufficient at times to restore their integrity. Apple et al. suggested that the fixation of large and small posterior medial fragments increases the stability by 57 and 17 percent respectively. The anatomical reduction and augmentation of fixation with an additional screw or a wire offers advantage improving the contact between the fragments and increases the chances of union. Similar studies conducted by Lee and Kim, Kulkarni et al, Gadegoni et al have emphasized the role of augmentation in unstable IT fractures. A number of complications have been noted in various studies in these kind of fractures like screw breakage, backouts, Z effect, varus collapse, shaft medialization, etc. The complications in our study are fewer as compared to similar studies. The only shortcoming of our study is that the outcomes of fixation of and augmentation have not been compared in the DHS and PFN group. 
to conclude, stabilization of the posterior median and lateral wall along with the fragments while fixing unstable IT fractures is of paramount importance and the anatomical reduction and augmentation using trochanteric wiring which requires minimal surgical time helps achieve this purpose. It increases the stability of the construct and improves the outcomes. A few references. Thank you. Thank you.